everybody, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be doing... What mod is it called? Storage drawers, okay, yeah. As you can see, there's so many items. <laughs> you know. Here's a signature item, which is a storage drawer. Now if you put any block into here, you put it into the shelf. And if you left click it, you get it back. If you double right click it, you put everything of that variant into there. If you shift and left click, you can see how many items there are, and also the upgrades down here. We'll get into them later. Now onto the shelves and half shelves. Each regular shelf holds 32 stacks of items, and also the 2x2, which has 4 slots. Now the half shelves, these are a bit different. These only have 16 stacks per shelf, and yeah, you can only store 16 stacks. Um, you still have upgrades and that's it, and same with here. Although there isn't one of uh, this variant, where it's only one slot. And not in this version at least. You can see here. Now the drawer key. Um, the key in itself does not do much. So if you right click on a drawer, you can see this keyhole appears. Which means it is locked. And now, if you try to grab the stack, you can see it doesn't even say a number here. It's just polished granite. Meaning you can't put anything else into here. You can put back the things back in, but you can't put anything else in again. Now the concealment key. This key is used to hide the item, so if you right-click, you cannot see the granite. This is kind of... Oh my... Hello. This hides items. Now the quantify key. This shows how many blocks there are in there. So you could right-click on anything and everything. All the drawers and stuff, and yet... Yeah. Uh, and the personal key. It's a bit like the drawer key, but this time you have a golden lock instead of a regular one. And you're the only one that can unlock the drawer. You could use it and all that stuff, but it's usually only used in multiplayer circumstances, so it's not really useful otherwise. Now the upgrades, you put these into the drawers, and it gives you more storage, basically. So, for example, the storage upgrade 1 increases storage to 2 times base value, which is pretty good. And you can have multiple of these, so for example, increases storage 32 times <laughs> base value, that means... 32 times 32, and you could have 7 of them, so you could, so that means, um, 32 times 32 times 7, which is a huge amount, Jesus <laughs> Christ, like, in the hundreds of thousands. Now, this is a more advanced type of drawer, this is the compacting drawer. It is usually used for, like, quicker crafting, I don't know, for example, you have a few blocks of iron, or iron ingots, or whatever, you put it into here, and you could see, you could grab items from different facets of, of a drawer. Now this is a drawer controller. And it will transfer into a drawer that it's pointing at. Well, it actually um, transfers to all the drawers here because they're all connected. And it goes to here so you can see um, the quantity uh, was 64, now it's 129. Actually, no, it's now the key buttons. These are like these um, keys over here. Like these ones. But these activate redstone. So, for example, I grab the quantify key. You put this on here. Then you press it. And you can see the quantity. It will not work on a regular drawer. You must have a drawer controller. If you're tired of just all these colors and you want to go a bit more colorful and shit, This. This is the framing table. This is a bit interesting. Of a new, the latest version this is in is 1.12. And you need these framed drawers. And a few, like, f at, at most, three pieces of wool, colored wool. So, for example, I'll grab a um, framed half 1x2 drawer. And I'll grab these three colors. And I put this here. And I put different colors here. And you can see that the drawer is customizing in front of your eyes. And look at this. This is a f half drawer frame. And you can put items in here. And it, it looks way better than these things with fur. So you could get a bit fancy with these. Also, the fact that it looks very cool is just fucking wow. <laughs> it looks fancy. This is a void upgrade. So this, whenever you reach maximum capacity of some sort of like block. Now, for example, I'm gonna grab a bit of birch um, planks. If you put the birch in, it's gonna delete, and it's not gonna count because this is maximum capacity, and it's gonna delete instead of not letting you even put it in it anyway, which is. This could be used if you have an overflow of items that you don't want at all. Now here are some useless nerdy things that are in this, but um, not even used in survival. Now this is a creative vending upgrade. You could see it's creative, which could give you unlimited items. I mean, that's just stupid. <laughs> uh, this is for creative storage upgrade, which is near infinite storage. 
Unlimited item withdrawal in here, infinite storage. C conversion upgrade, which ought to convert compatible item. Um, this does have a crafting recipe. It's not really useful at all. Uh, watch a different video, go to the FTB wiki page, because I do not know anything about this. These two are redstone um, things. So these are used whenever you want to, like, a storage is at maximum or minimum capacity and it'll um, give a redstone signal and do something. I mean, yeah, that's a bit nerdy. By the way, I won't show the crafting recipes of these because they're just too nerdy. You could just use GAI and stuff like that. And redstone upgrade emits signal from total ch storage. This will emit a signal when there's anything in a storage drawer. Now have a downgrader. This reduces base storage to a single stack. You could also pair it up with a void upgrade. And here's the last of the items. Now, packing tape. I mean, this used to be useful a very while back, but nowadays, if you like using newer versions, um, no, it's not. Now, what you use with this is, for example, we grab a storage, and a long time ago, if you broke this, all everything just flooded out. Hello, and welcome to 1.7.10. You put in a drawer, you put in a few things, then, if you do this normally, then everything will fall. If you put tape this time, now it won't fall. Ye but now if you put these items um, in survival mode and you break it, then it will just it give you um, a patched one already, like this. It will look like this in the inventory, it will look this in it. Now we're going into the crafting area, the, the, the very boring stuff, it even says caution if it's too boring, so beware guys. Now these recipes, I guess, um, for all the storage drawers, these different planks create different drawer variants. Anyways, I have a chest in the middle and six planks on top and bottom. To create a 1x2 basic drawer, you need you need two chests on top and bottom and different variants of any type of wood. For the 1x2 half drawer, you need slabs instead of wood and two chests. For the 2x2, you need four chests on each corner and any planks in the rest slots. For the 2x2 um, half ones, uh, I don't know the name, these have chests on all sides and slabs and that. And for the framing table, you need five of any type of drawer. For the regular key, you need a upgrade template which is gonna be used a lot in the crafting and also you need two gold ingots and gold nuggets at the end. Now for the concealment key you need a drawer key and an eye of ender. For the personal key you need a key and a name tag. I mean name tag person. Haha <laughs> get it. And the quantify key, drawer key and a book and quill. And book and quills are for no and for the storage template the base of many items you need eight sticks in a drawer. Yeah. It makes sense, don't ask questions. And for the different storage upgrades, now for the wine you need obsidian, like, okay, wait, really? Basically you need six sticks, it's template in the middle, and two of any item in each of them, like iron, gold, diamond, and emerald. For the compacting drawer, you need five stone, two pistons, an ingot, and the drawer in the middle. For the drawer controller, you need the same, but instead of an iron, a diamond, and instead of, what was the other one? You need comparators. Now for the buttons, you need um, a button next to a key of a void upgrade you need a template summoned by eight obsidian what the frames um yeah here are the recipes sticks chests so, um also planks more planks more chests good thanks everyone for watching please subscribe to become a and bye